What's going on everybody? It's Josh, you probably don't remember me, but this video is for pretty much people who care, people who are interested, people who are nosy, people who want to type them comments again. This video is to try and express myself even more on why I sold my collection, give you guys a little life update, quality life update, that kind of thing. So basically, we bought a new house like a month or so ago. Um, we closed on it last week. Or no, we got the keys last week. The timeline doesn't matter to you guys. Anyways, um, so I want to kind of show you guys why I sold my collection. Because when I sold it, not only did I lose like literally thousands of followers between my platforms. Not that I care, but that just shows you how many people really watch just to see me look at Hot Toys and Marvel Legends. But I want you guys to understand my thought process. Because I've sold stuff a lot. I've changed directions a lot. And this, I think, this will kind of help make you guys realize or not make you help you guys realize why i did what i did so i'm going to walk you through my old house and then i'm going to show you the new house and just show the upgrades because at one point i probably had 30 plus thousand 30 thousand to probably like thirty five thousand dollars worth of hot toys sitting behind me in this house when i sold them it gave the financial freedom to be able to put that money into a new home for a down payment and just to kind of give the financial freedom of not worrying about what hot toys are coming out, worry about what I need to collect, making sure I'm going to all these toy shows, spending money, you know, just those kind of things. So I hope that that helps you guys understand, like, I didn't sell my collection 100% because I'm done with collecting or because I don't like it anymore. It's literally, it was, it was holding me back from progressing in my life and upgrading my myself and my family's life in general because yeah karina has her own job she has her own money she makes good money for what she does i'm still holding the entire family back by collecting buying stuff going away on trips every weekend spending that money not being here so yeah anyways i hope you guys get that the point of that this is a really long intro but let me just show you what i was working with and then i'll show you what i am working with so this was uh, where we parked. We didn't even have a garage, so there's my car. And we were on a loud, like, main road that we have here in, in town. So this is the kitchen when you used to walk in. So just kind of get in everything and just understand this is all stuff kind of from our basement and whatever that we still have to get out because we're leaving, or we have to be out by today. So backyard, literally not much of one. So then we'd walk through, and then to the left, this was my gaming setup. So you guys saw like all the detox and all the art. Oh, blurry. This is, oh, that's blurry again. This is where that was. So this was supposed to be a dining room and then it turned into that. And then you walk in here and this was our living room. This is actually where my first setup was. So when I recorded my first video on this channel, um, it was in this corner. I had like two bookshelves and two bookshelves, and then that was it. So it was just this corner, and then it progressed to there. So this is our little living room, and then I kind of did this backwards. But so there's the kitchen, right? Had a little bathroom, and we had this little dungeon ass basement. Look at this. This house was built in 1908, right? I mean, look at the basement we were working with. I mean, I think they filmed a horror movie in here at one time. So, that was that. It's already upgrading. There's our stuff. And then, our front porch we never used because literally, it's that. So then you go up the stairs. And then, this is where all the bedrooms were. <sighs> so, our little bathroom that we shared with the kids. This was a Korean and I's bedroom. This is where all the magic happened. Master bedroom, one of the kids' rooms, closet, one of the kids' rooms. Boom. And that's it. So, that's the tour. 90 second tour of the house. So, I think I'm going to sit right here and talk to you for a second. But, that was, that's it. Why well, am I out of breath? Because I'm out of shape. So, that's it. Um, I'm excited to show you guys the new house and for those who care because i have posted a little bit on social media about it and obviously like the people who 
I've conversated with and kind of kept in contact with, you know, through my downtimes of YouTube and through my parting ways of YouTube. So I appreciate everyone who's reached out, but I want to get off here because it's 10 o'clock. We have a lot of work to do. So we've I've done literally nothing besides move boxes, drive back and forth through the house since uh, Tuesday of last week. So I'm ready to enjoy the fruits of my labor in the new house. So I'll walk you through that. It's going to be a mess but you'll be able to get an idea of what we're working with now. So, see you there. Okay, so like a week has passed um, since the last clip when I showed you guys the old house. Um, the new house is still pretty uh, in shambles, to, to say the least. I, I wanted, I didn't wanna to wait too long because I didn't, I don't know. I, I felt like recording last week and it felt good to do something Con I don't even want to say content wise because this is really just a thing. So anyways, whatever. It doesn't matter. You guys don't care. Um, but I just wanted to get this kind of out of the way so I could get this out and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So old house. I just showed you guys all that. So I want to show you guys the upgrades and the quality of life that we are now presented with now that, uh, like I said, I'm not focused on spending money all on collecting. So for one, we actually have a yard, which is nice. So neighborhood, we have this whole yard for the kids. Of driveway, we actually have a garage. We didn't have a garage in the last one. Front door, so when you walk in, we have the entryway. And then this is the office. This is where my PC and stuff will be set up. But we have a guest room, or this will be the guest room. We have the mattress, we have the bed frame and all that stuff. I just gotta clean all of this, obviously. But, it's nice that we'll have a guest room for when people come, we can actually have them sleep on a bed. And then as you walk in, we have the uh, bathroom, we have a laundry room on the first floor, which is nice. And then we have our garage, which is nice. And then when we walk through here, it opens up into our living room, which is fun, with the kitchen. The kitchen is one thing that sold us on this house. I'm super stoked about it. Um, if you remember the old kitchen, like we didn't have that much counter space and then we have a little eat-in area thing over here, but literally guys, like <clears throat> small things like outlets. So in our old house, it was built in 1928. The kitchen was added on and they, they did some little upgrades throughout the years, but having things like an outlet or multiple outlets in a room is, is such a game changer for us because in our old house, there was maybe like two or three outlets in a whole room. And then on top of that, a lot of the outlets weren't grounded. So like, in case you don't know what that means, it only had like the two holes. It didn't have like the little smiley face hole at the bottom. So there was times where we couldn't even plug stuff in because it was a three pronged cord, but it was only a two hole plug. So it's just little things like that. And like all of our windows, we can open all of our windows. The old house, we couldn't open all the windows because they were still on like the pulley system, like in, in on the side of the windows. It was like a rope with a pulley. That's how, that's, that's the, the life that I was living. And now we're changing it. So forget about the TV. I ordered a new TV mount because we, that is, it's just not going to work. We can't figure it out. So we have the couch and then upstairs and everything is the kids room. But the thing that I'm excited for the most is the basement, which I'll show you in a minute, but here's our bedroom. Remember, oh, oh yeah, it's a mess, but got the bedroom and then the bathroom. Walk-in shower. We have a walk-in closet, which I have the majority side because I have too much stuff apparently, but got shoe containers for all my shoes, which is cool. But before we go upstairs, this is the main thing that I'm super excited about that might get me back into collecting or doing something. But we have a basement. You saw my last basement. It was a freaking horror movie. Look how much space we have. So all that storage, this, because we're going to finish the basement, obviously. But this is going to be like an actual guest room and we're going to put a full bath down here, all that stuff. And here's all Karina of Legos and stuff, but the last homeowners, they left us the pool table. But I mean, look at all this space that we have now. I mean, it's probably 1,000, 1,100 square feet down here, something like that. And I know I keep saying this, 
and I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm not, you know, look at me, look how cool my life is. Nothing. All I'm saying is that all the years that I spent tens of thousands of dollars on toys and I lived in that house and I never put any amount of value into growing and bettering my life, bettering my family's life, whatever. I now see what that does. And you guys might think, oh, you can collect and have gotten this. Not really, because the money that I got from selling my old house, because I had equity in the house, and the money that I got from selling my entire collection at once, that was pretty much a traditional 20% down payment on this house, like those two valuations together. So there was no way that we could have gotten this house with me keeping my collection and continuing to buy, you know, one to two hot toys a month because let's put it this way. Say you're paying $5 a month for your house and then you move into a better house and now you're paying like $20 a month. That's, that's kind of like what I'm doing now like rough, rough numbers. So anyways, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. But the basement, we're gonna finish that obviously over time. And not only is that gonna be fun to have a finished basement, but it's equity in the house. It's increasing the value. It's putting money into the house. It's gonna give me more monies down the road. So now we walk upstairs and kids room. This is their whole domain. So they have one room, their bathroom, and then Parker's room. And here is the overlook of that. So, all right, let me set this camera down and then I'm gonna talk to you guys real quick and then I'll end the video. And before I sit down and talk to you, I forgot to show you the backyard. If you guys saw the backyard of the previous house, it's raining, so we're just gonna do this. But yeah, we have a nice little fenced in backyard already. So that's that. Okay, so. I know, I, and also, it's been a week since I've recorded. I don't remember what I said um, in the last, like the old house clip, but to end it, because I know like the seven people who are still watching this are like actual people that I probably talk to or, you know, reply with, or even just keep some sort of contact with. The main reason why I want to make this video is to explain and to get it off my chest and to kind of show you guys like because I, I i've gotten a lot of shit over the years for selling like when i bought karina's engagement ring and i was selling all my stuff and i was like secretive about it because i didn't want karina to know obviously i got so much shit for selling even though i did it to buy you know an x amount dollar engagement ring so i didn't have to have it on a payment plan so i didn't have to pay for it for three or four years like I would probably still be paying on that ring, what, almost four years later, if I didn't sell my stuff that I could buy back, which I did, and pay it all off. Same thing with this. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I, I miss collecting a little bit. I miss having, you know, some pieces. Like a lot of things are cool. I mean, I miss Mythic Legions, but I've been saying that for like a, a year-ish now. Um, once like Brian, started getting a little heavier into it. I mean, obviously it influenced me, you know, and, and everyone that, that was buying them or showing them off in the, in the groups or whatever. That's why people are called influencers because they influence. I mean, same with what I did. I know when I used to start collecting cards, people would buy cards and wrestling. Like, it's not a bad thing to piggyback off of what other people are doing. So I've removed myself from all the groups besides my own group and Cincy's group just so I don't get influenced to want to jump back in. But I've been playing a game called New World, and that's like a fantasy, mythical type of game or whatever. So of course, Mythic Legions are like tempting right now because all the characters in that game and the whole world of that game is in that era. Um, I, I miss Hot Toys. I mean, they're, they're the best display that you can get on that IP, which would be Marvel or Star Wars or any other things that they do. So it's not to say that I don't miss it or that I don't want to do it. It's just, I can't do that right now. Like a hot toy is what? 280, 300 bucks after tax and shipping or whatever. One hot toy, $300 right now in this house that could buy me 
six or seven new doorknobs to, to upgrade the house and to change from this old like 1995 gold plated doorknobs you know like that i mean we bought a little shark robot vacuum thing because we have hardwoods on the floor so Karina wanted that to help keep up with the you know what i mean like there's just all that money that I was dumping in the toys, it's not that I don't think that it's worth it anymore, it's just I can't afford to do that anymore right now. Like, you know, buying cameras for the house, buying a security system, upgrading stuff that we need throughout the time, like just stupid little things that I've never thought of. Like a TV mount, how to buy one of those. I Buying door sensors for the alarm, buying vent, direction thing never mind this is all boring whatever it's just like homeowner stuff now because in the last house we cared about it but it wasn't our forever home so we didn't want to do like little finite touches to that house because we weren't going to be there forever this is definitely like a 15 year house or more so why would we not do that so anyways that was a long rant i'm sorry i just want to get off my chest if you guys did get to this far Tell me your favorite, uh, what's, what's a question they should answer? Like their favorite what? What is your favorite part of the house? No, no, like that they can say. Not, not about our house, but like about anything, like their favorite color, their favorite movie, their favorite something. What, what should it be? Their favorite color. Okay, what's your favorite color? Do that, but I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this. Anyways. Expect content, something. If we have friends over and we go do some fun stuff, I might do that. Or I might go to a toy show. There's a toy show in June, at the end of June, that we might go to, depending on if we're busy or not. It's the Roma Collectible Show. But anyways, alright, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. It kind of felt good to do this. But I'll see you guys in some sort of the next video. Hope you didn't think I was bragging, but I'm just happy about the house. So, love you guys. See you uh, later. May the pigs be with you.